Hello, I'm gonna walk you through the assembly of the Kyoto Utaka 4D M898 massage chair. Here we have it in the boxes, just how it will be shipped. You do not need any additional tools or pieces to complete this assembly, with the exception of a box cutter or a pair of scissors needed to open all of the boxes. Other than that, everything you need is included with your kit. We suggest that you do this assembly in the room that you're planning to use the chair in because once fully assembled, the chair won't be able to move through most doors. Your M898 is going to arrive in three boxes. The largest will contain the main body of the chair. The middle size box contains the arms and the smallest box contains the footrest. Open all of these up and make sure that everything is undamaged from shipping. Starting with the largest of the three boxes, on the seat of the body of the chair is a smaller box. This is the accessory box. Remove this and set it aside for now. We will be returned to this later. Remove the outer shell and the foam padding. With the padding and the outer box removed, you can remove the chair from the tray. Let's take a look at the middle size box now. This contains the arms of the chair. Once you remove the foam padding and the bubble wrap, take a look at the inside. Here, you can note the markings that tell if the arm is for the right or left side of the chair. With the arms, when I'm referring to right or left, it is oriented the same way as if you would be sitting in it. So the right arm would be on your right side when you're sitting in the chair. And that is marked with an R. Once you have everything unboxed, take a look at the accessory box. This is the small box we set aside earlier. Inside there's a remote, some bolts, a screwdriver, a power cable, the hex key, the manual, and the remote pocket. The manual is in a plastic bag. Open this up and you're gonna find all the necessary documents to do the assembly and register your warranty. Here I've included a list of parts that should have arrived with your kit. Take a look to make sure that you have everything that's included. If you're missing anything, you can give Kyoto Massage Chairs a call at 800-242-0761 and we can resolve this together. Make sure you have everything in an appropriate place for the assembly, where nothing will damage the chair. With everything unpacked from the main boxes, let's install the armrests. On the armrests, there are plugs for three air hoses and two electrical ports. These correspond to plugs and air hoses that are on the body of the chair. As you can see, both the air hoses and the ports are clearly labeled. While connecting the air hoses to the ports, make sure you match the number on the air hose with the one on the port. For example, air hose two is going to air nozzle two. Air hose three goes to the corresponding air nozzle three. And there are also two plugs one with an 8-pin connector, and a small white plug. Find the corresponding wires that are coming out of the body near the air hoses. Connect these wires, then slide the arm into place. Before you slide the arm onto the body of the chair, note these three connection points. One is for the hook towards the back. The other two are for screws that we will use to secure the arm to the body of the chair. and avoid pinching these wires and air hoses. There are rot rails on the body of the chair and hooks on the arm that slide over the rail. Guide this arm down the rail and make sure that towards the back of the chair, you slide the connector into the slot. Repeat this process for the right side of the chair. The only difference being that the right side of the chair has one electrical plug instead of two. On the right arm of the chair, there are three air hoses. Just like on the left arm of the chair, make sure that the number of the hose corresponds to the number on the nozzle. For example, air hose 11 should go to air nozzle 11. Here I'm repeating the same process on the right side of the chair as I did on the left side of the chair, hooking the arm over the bar that's on the body of the chair, lining up the screw holes, and making sure that the hook towards the back of the arm is sliding properly and tightly into place. You can easily tell if these spots are aligned properly by looking towards the back of the arm. If there's any space between the arm and the body of the chair, you may need to realign the arm and slide it back on so that the hook is inserted properly. With the arms attached to the chair, we need to grab the screws and hex key out of the accessory box that we set aside earlier. Open the box and remove the hex key and bag of screws. The location for the first set of screws are near the shoulder airbags. 
on each side of the chair, here you'll see that there's a flap. When you lift the flap, it reveals a small screw hole, one for each of the bolts. Insert the bolt and screw it firmly into place using the included hex key. Make sure you do this for the opposite side of the chair. Next, located near the foot of the chair, there are two openings, one on each side for the remaining bolts. Use the included hex key and firmly screw the bolts into place. Each arm has one set of these screws. Make sure you do both arms before you continue on to the rest of the assembly. Now, let's plug in the remote. Get the remote out of the accessory box and plug it into the connector that is between the seat and the right arm of the chair. When connecting the remote, make sure that you line up the pins on the connector properly. When this is correctly inserted, it should slide smoothly into place. Then use the connector cap to screw the ends of the remote cables together, giving you a firm connection. Here you can install the remote pocket by removing the Velcro covering and sliding it into the opening just above the arm airbags. Now that the arm's firmly attached to the chair, and the remote is plugged in, get the power cord out of the accessory box and plug the chair in. There's a power switch on the side. Toggle it to the on position. This is indicated when it is lit up. Using the remote, turn the chair on and off again. This resets the chair to the upright position. Once the chair is fully upright, toggle the power switch off. Let's install a footrest. Move the footrest close to the front of the chair. There are three power connectors and an air hose that need to be plugged in. While connecting the power cords, make sure that the pins are plugged into the ports with the matching amount. With all the power cords connected and the air hose plugged in, bring the footrest right up to the foot of the chair. Before we place the footrest onto the body, remove the clips that are on the end of each axle. Keep track of these when you put them aside. We'll need them in a few minutes. We found the trick to removing these easily uh, is to use the included screwdriver to loosen the clips as seen here. Gently lift the footrest and slide the connector hook onto the footrest axle. Make sure you slide them down as far as they'll go. This will give you enough room to maneuver the other side and slide it into place. Then replace the clips, ensuring that the leg rest will not fall off the axles. And finally, zipper the footrest to the seat of the chair. With the chair fully assembled, toggle the power switch back on and use the remote to run an auto program. Use this time to ensure that the chair is running properly and that all airbags are inflating. If everything's going smoothly, the chair is now ready to use. Take a break, you've earned it.